What's happening guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you two secret tricks to changing colors here in Photoshop. So let's get into it. What's happening guys, my name is Brandon from BeWheelCreative.com, home to editing tutorials and camera gear reviews, tricks and tips. If you're not into learning new things or cool websites, then just find me on Instagram at Burnwells to see a little bit more of my work. Before I get started, I just wanted to let anyone who's new here know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single week, so if that's something you'd be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now one last quick reminder, just like many of my tutorials, if you're wanting to follow along and change some colors as we go, I've included a download link for the image I'm using today down in the description below, so make sure to download that and then we can follow along and work on this together. What we're going to be talking about today is two awesome tricks to changing colors here in Photoshop. So let's just get right into it and I'm going to start here with trick number one. So trick number one is hidden in here in our hue saturation adjustment layer. Now of course our hue saturation adjustment layer is the main tool that you'll use to change any of the hues or colors of your image in Photoshop. Of course our master slider, if we change the hue here, it changes our entire image as one. But you'll notice if we click on our master slider, a whole bunch of other tabs lie below, all of them representing an individual color channel. So in this case, what I want to do is I just want to change the colors of my flowers here, which is the yellows. So of course I'm going to go down here to my yellows tab. Now if I just go straight to my hue slider and I start to change around the colors, it pretty much does the job for me. But once you look a little bit closer, you might notice that you see here it's affecting a bit of her skin, a little bit of her hair, things like that, and we don't want that to happen. We only want it to be affecting the flowers. So how can we fix that? So here lies trick number one. So what we'll do here is if I boost up my saturation to 100%, you'll see everything become super saturated and you can see w everything that is being affected within this color channel. So as you see, we have a little bit of her face that's being affected, we have a little bit of her dress that's being affected and things like that. Now the next thing that you might notice is how there's different colors of saturation here. So we have things that are yellow, we have things that are green, we have things that are red as well. So why is there not just the yellows that are being affected within our yellows tab? So if you look down here at the bottom bottom of our hue saturation adjustment window here you see this long color slider and these little this little tab in between here so as you see one arm reaches all the way out into the reds and the other one all the way to the green so you see that we're pretty much covering everything from red orange yellow into green if you look at our image here you see what's being affected we have yellows we have greens and we have oranges all the colors that this slider is sitting in so if we want to get rid of some of the reds all we have to do is move our slider up or down our color slider. So in this case, if we want to get rid of the reds, let's move it away from our reds here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click right in the middle and I'm just going to slide up my color slider. And as you see, you can see the saturation of our skin going away, it's starting to fade a little bit. Now that solved that problem. But as you see here, we have now affected a little bit more of our dress. And that's only because we've delved a little bit deeper into our greens on our slider. So now to get away from the greens, what we can do is we can just click on our outside tab right here and we can just start to bring it in a little bit. And as you see, it starts to bring back our greens little by little. So now her dress is being affected less and less and less. So I'm just going to keep dragging this back until none of her dress is being affected. So now as you see here, the only things that we're going to be affecting now is our flowers. And then a we have a little bit left over in our eyes, but I'll show you guys how to get rid of that using your layer mask in just a moment. So now what I can do is I'm, I don't want everything to be su super saturated anymore. So I'm just going to double click on my saturation, set it back to zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with my hue slider now. So now I can move around my hue slider and as you see, it changes just the color of our flowers, which is what we're wanting, or our flower field here. So what I want to do is I want to make it sort of a nice orange color like this. And then if you're wanting, you can play around with the saturation, whatever makes you happy. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm just going to change my yellows into a little bit more of an orange color. So now, as you see here, if I just turn this on and off, you can see the difference that we've just made. We've just selected out all of our yellows by using our color slider. Now it's not affecting her hair color, her skin color, or any of her dress, which is exactly what we were wanting. So that was trick number one, using our color slider in our individual color tab to tell Photoshop what colors we are wanting to be affected and what ones we are not wanting to be affected within that specific color channel. So now let's move on to trick number two. 
So this trick sort of bypasses having to adjust that color slider and what we do, what we're going to do now, we're going to individually select a specific color within our image. So what we're going to do to do that is first of all, we want to click back on our image that we want to change the colors of. And I'm just going to go up here to select and then down here to color range. So now you see this box comes up and you'll want to have your select set to sampled colors so then we can customize everything ourselves and then your fuzziness we will move around once we start to select things. So what you're looking at in this little box is essentially a layer mask of your image. You see with my eyedropper tool selected if I click anywhere on this image you see that our little selection box changes as I click. So just like a layer mask anything that is white is 100% visible while everything that is black is 100% transparent. So in this case we're just wanting to select out the color of her dress here. So what we're going to do is make sure you have just your eyedropper tool selected here and just click on a random area of her dress or just click on the colored area of whatever you're trying to change the color of. So what, you're, what I'm just doing here is I'm just clicking on an area and it's pretty much sampling that area and you're telling Photoshop that anything that is similar to this color I want to select. And so you can see right here this is all the areas that are similar to the color that you just sampled. Obviously that is not the entire dress so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my eyedropper tool with a little plus and I'm just going to click in a few different areas of her dress just to make sure that I have everything selected. So you just want to be try to make sure you're pretty thorough with this and I know this is a pretty small box to see so what you can do if you want to make this a little bit bigger and see your selection a little bit better you can go down here to your selection preview tab you have a few different options I like to go to grayscale just because it shows me exactly what is being selected and what is not so as you see here everything that's being selected is our white and everything that is not being selected is our black so everything right here this is her dress and then of course all of this is not her dress but we can get rid of that with the layer mask that again I'll be showing you how to get rid of in just a moment so what you'll see here if I go up to my fuzziness tab the fuzziness is essentially how much wiggle room you're allowing Photoshop to give to specific colors. so in this case how much wiggle room we're allowing on this specific green so if I move the slider down you see that it becomes a little bit more specific to the dress and if I move it up it becomes a little bit less specific and it starts to select a whole lot of things within our image. So you want to just try to find that happy medium and I'm going to go right about in here. And so that looks good to me. I might try to just sample a little bit more of the area like that. Awesome. So now what I can do is once you once you think everything is good to go, you can just go ahead and click OK. And now as you see, you have a whole bunch of random marching ants everywhere and none of the colors changed. Not to worry, that is totally what is supposed to happen. So what we want to do now is we want to add this selection onto a hue saturation adjustment layer. So what we can do to do that is all we have to do is just click on our hue saturation tool and it applies that selection automatically onto a layer mask of that tool for us. Since we've already selected out the colors that we want to change, so in this case the green of our dress, we don't have to go into our individual color tabs to find out what color we're going to change because we've already made that selection ahead of time with our layer mask. So now all we have to do is just stick in our master tab. We can just change the hue of our master tab just like this. So in this case I just want to make her dress a little bit more of a tealy green and so I'm just bringing it up a little bit just like that and that looks good for me. So if I just turn this on and off you can see the slight difference that we made in the color of her dress. It selects everywhere on her dress and we did all of that just by making a selection within our color range tool. You might see if I turn this on and off you see around the edges of the image there are some things that are being affected that we don't want to be affected. So what we can do to change that is we can just view our layer mask by holding alt or option and clicking on our layer mask and then we can just grab our brush tool make sure black is selected as our foreground color here and we can just paint black over all of the areas that we don't want to be visible anymore just like this so now the only things that are being affected by this hue saturation tool is just our dress now because we have masked out all the other areas that were selected before. So I'm just clicking alter option, clicking back on my layer mask to go back to my regular view. And now I'm just going to turn both of these on and off and you can see the difference that we've just made with those two different tricks. So now if you really wanted to, you could use either of these two tricks to go ahead and change the colors of her lips, the colors of her eyes, her hair, her skin, whatever you're wanting to do, you could do it with these two tricks. Now both of these tricks are super awesome and I use both of them on a constant basis to change colors in my images and I hope that these tricks become awesome tools for you as well. If you want to see more of my tutorials make sure to visit my website at bewillcreative.com or if you wanted to see some more of my work then just make sure to visit me on Instagram at 
Burnwells. If this tutorial helped you, I would love if you hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. I make new Photoshop tutorials every single week. This is two secret tricks to changing colors here in Photoshop. Again, my name is Brandon from BeWellCreative.com and I hope to see you back here next week for another new Photoshop tutorial. See you then.